So till that time, I just want to know that uh, how many of you have ever hear about the garbage collector? Okay, good. And I, uh, about the G1 that we are talking? No? The good part of this presentation is that uh, there is no prerequisite. If you have passed your college and you are from the engineering background, you can understand garbage collector. You don't even need to know Java. Okay, good to start. So uh, I am Vaibhav and I am going to talk about the garbage first collector, which is uh, not so a new collector because we are working from 2006 on this and now we are telling, okay, we are ready. So it took us 10 years to uh, give this presentation. I am from Java Platforms teams and I am involved with uh, garbage collector from long time. So first I will tell you a short story about the garbage collectors to those people who don't know. And then I will tell you um, those greedy customers who are not happy in anything. And then I will explain you how G1 works and then a uh, little bit of technicality of G1. And then uh, uh, very important, the logging mechanism and when to use. Yep. So, uh, and it's going to be an interactive session because we are uh, like 40, 45 people, so we can, we can discuss things. Ask question whenever it comes in your mind. Uh, so, uh, garbage collector provides a automated memory management for Java, which was not in C, C++, so that is very simple. And uh, uh, it is not about finding the dead object whereas it is about finding the live object and the objects which are not live are called dead. So never think G1, uh, never think GC in terms of uh, marking the dead object because it don't works for the, for the cyclic link list and for a lot of other things. Yeah? Yeah, before going to uh, the details of uh, GC, I will show you uh, a very evergreen picture of uh, Java heap structure. Okay. Uh, why that heap structure came out into the picture is the last point. We have something called weak generational hypothesis. And as I have mentioned, this is a hypothesis, and hypothesis are those things which, uh, which are not theoretical. 